everyone, Charlie Levine here with Power Motor Yacht Magazine. We are in Marathon, Florida. We just arrived on the new M55 Maritimo enclosed flybridge. It's pretty windy, so I'm gonna warn you the video will probably have some wind sound. But I did wanna show you this boat because it was a blustery day. We left out of Lauderdale um, through Hallover Canal. I was pretty nervous looking at the forecast but it was really not a big deal. The boat performed excellent. The, the, fly, the enclosed bridge was a wonderful place to hang out. It felt like a living room up there. We'll show you that in a sec, but wanted to give you a quick tour. Uh, we're gonna start at the bow and work our way back. So notice these side decks because it's really nice, easy to move up and down in this boat. I'll give you a quick view of uh, the enclosed bridge. It's really quite handsome and just great visibility up there. Uh, you could obviously get some pads, make this into a sun pad, ground tackle, anchor locker, and uh, the owners of the boat actually tie bow in every once in a while, so they have a shore power connect here up on the bow as well. Go back. There's the wind. It has been blowing. Side decks on this boat are great for moving around. You can see the uh, hydraulic swim step back here and these safety rails, these are all removable. You can move them around. You can actually put them around the swim step if you want. Uh, you can get a cradle if you want to put your tender out there. There is a massive lazarette space under here. This actually all lifts up hydraulically but you can also access it here. Let's check this out. So as you can see, it's just a, a really big space down here. Things that get shuffled around on the ride down and uh, you can actually get a tender down here if you'd like, but it's just a big massive space. All right, heading into the engine room now. Now, if you're not familiar with Maritimo, it's an Australian built boat, um, incredibly well built. They have a patented building process where actually pretty much every piece of this boat is coming out of a mold. The liner, the hull liner, and everything is bonded together. So you end up with a very, very solid one piece construction. Um, as you can see, you've got your sea strainers here, easy to get to. It's got the clear line system, big, big engine vents. It's got twin Caterpillar. I believe these are each a thousand horsepower. We were cruising right around 23 knots the whole ride down, and we were plowing through some five foot seas. And it was, when I tell you it was a non event, it was very, very, very manageable and comfortable. So a little different than the Raycors. These are your filters, oil. Everything is well labeled. Um, great, great standing room inside the engine room here. Tons of space to work on these. Great lighting. All the wires are, are labeled. This is part of the twin disc steering. You got your coolants. Uh, there is a Cummins Onan diesel gen set. And there's actually room for a second gen set if you wanted. And I believe you can also opt for a sea keeper, which would live right about here but very impressed. This is something I thought was pretty smart. So obviously you don't want to stand on the shafts, um, but this little bit gives you a place to stand when you're looking at the engines, you flip it open and you have easy access to your shaft seals. So 
really, really nicely laid out. Uh, you can tell Maritimo listens to their customers. It's, it's a really nice, nicely organized space. Look at this salon. Just gorgeous, very open. Um, it is an all glass windshield. So you just get tons and tons of natural light in this boat. All the salon windows, both sides, all glass. It does have a aft galley here, which is, I find very convenient. Obviously with the aft galley, you can pass food and drinks to your guests. Uh, the owners were kind enough to show us how they laid it out and the owners really work with the builders to get the layout they choose and all the colors and the countertops and this piece of stone here is just gorgeous um, there's cold storage both of these drawers I believe this is fridge freezer ice maker this pantry is pretty cool look at how well that pops out I just found that really great so the owners um, they do stay on the boat and for long periods of time they do a lot of traveling in the Bahamas and um, yeah they cook and entertain and telling me how much they enjoy entertaining on this boat so it does have this nice big island in the center of the galley more storage under here and this is all refrigerator. Oops. So you see refrigerator and it, you know, the way it's all laid out, this beautiful woodwork. You'd never really know it was there. Uh, there is a freezer down below, convection oven. Uh, you even have a dishwasher, just a really nice space. So easy to entertain here. You could be in the galley and obviously still enjoy your guests wonderful boat so you have these nice stairs up to the enclosed bridge and the doors that Maritimo uses as you can see they all slide all the way uh, to the starboard side and it opens up the whole flybridge deck with the aft um, entertaining area it's just an awesome space. We, we spent all day up here. There's a, a TV that raises up. There's this forward seating, this U-shaped seating. And you can really enjoy the view. The visibility is incredible. We do have a little bit of salt in the window still. <laughs> um, we just got in a bit ago. Really, really comfortable helm. There's these two helm chairs. I believe these are Pompanet chairs. The, uh, the captain's chair is all electric to adjust up, down, forward. And I really, really like, you know, when you're sitting here at the helm, it's so comfortable to have all your controls right here. You've got your trim, you've got your windshield wiper, um, bow thruster, aft thruster, everything is just within reach. and. You know, Maritimo has a very aggressive racing division and they've brought a lot of what they've learned on the race boats into their motor yachts. And this steering is some of the tightest, you know, you notice it's a small wheel and it's not like some boats where it's, you know, several turns to go lock to lock. I mean, this really drives like a car. You're not cranking the wheel over a bunch. It's more like a small turn to make a wide you know, small turn of the wheel and you're making a pretty wide turn of the boat. It was just a great boat to drive. The sun's starting to set here in the Keys. So come back here, the bridge deck. And there's also another seating area here. There's storage underneath all this. Um, this little corner right here was one of my favorite places to sit on the ride down. This table folds out. You do have cold storage, a sink, I think this is a trash bin. Yeah, trash bin here. There's a ton of storage on this boat. So I did just shut the door. I couldn't really film while I was shutting the door, but that's what you see when it's all closed. 
air conditioned, climate controlled in here. Very, very comfortable. So there you have it. That's the new M55 Maritimo enclosed flybridge. Gorgeous vessel. We had a lot of fun running it down from Marathon for this part of this owner's rendezvous. We want to thank everyone at Maritimo. We want to thank the owners. It was a fun time and uh, it was a great boat. So if you'll be hearing more. Make sure to check out Power Motor Yacht Magazine or PMYMag.com.